Hey, good morning to you. Lovely to have you with us. It's Wednesday morning, Wednesday the 27th of July. And I thought I'd just do a quick pop-up just to say hi to every single one of you and uh, see what you're all up to. Very, very important at this time of the day just to say hi. Scotty McClure, of course, the first lord of the internet. That's the big one. Always with you, always interested, always wondering what's going on and always here for you as well. Very, very important that. So do feel free to come and join us at any time. That's what it's all about, I say. And uh, we even might open the lines. Who knows? We might open the phone lines and have a chat if you're keen to have a chat. Do let me know on the chat. There's the wonderful Robert Stringer. Morning, Scotty. Are you all right? Good morning, Robert. Do you fancy a wee call? Do let me know just so we can catch up and have a bit of a chit chat. Uh, I've got one for you uh, here, Robert. How many indents are there on, in a golf ball or on a golf ball? What about that? Fantastic. Yes, just a wee random pop-up, Robert, to see how everybody's doing and to say dinky do. I think that's very, very important. Très important. Fantastic stuff. So feel free to come and join me. Have a little bit of a chat. We'll not be up forever, of course, uh, because we never are. But uh, we do like to keep in touch. Dinky do, Scotty. Ah, Dinky do. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome. Hello, Scotty, says Mr. Man. Mr. Man, how lovely to have you with us. I'm so glad you could join us. And Dinky do at this time of the day. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching the world's top broadcaster, the voice of the world, Scotty McClue, hashtag Flutai. Excellent stuff. Feel free to come and have a wee chat with us. Let us know what you're up to. Trucker has just joined us, and that's good to have you with us. That's just amazing. Hello, Scotty. Now, I'm always glad when people can come and join us because these pop-ups are very random. So it's really testing the market. It's seeing who's out there. And also, as you know, the Scotty McClure YouTube channel is one of the world's best kept secrets. But we're also on Facebook Live and LinkedIn as well. So that's quite good for uh, good for business, as we say. There's a wonderful Neil O'Gormley. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Neil. It's a bit early in the day for all you wonderful gigsters. Do you not mainly work at night? Are you not nocturnal, being a top singer? That's what it's about, I say to you. But no, it's, it's good stuff. As you know, Neil, you can be around at any time of the day. Now, I don't have my trusty water with me this morning, but I do have some pineapple juice. Mm. Which, if uh, you're not averse to a pineapple juice, is very refreshing in the hot weather, I can tell you. Uh, now, who else have we got with us? So good that, uh, that people feel, let's join McClue and see what's what. Uh, would you like to see a regular feature during daytime? Or do you prefer the night times for the phone-ins? That's what's going on. Now, uh, I've just been having a look at the leadership contest for the UK, for uh, the leader of the Conservative Party. And a lot of people are asking, there are almost 70 million people in the UK. Are those two the only two that we can find? And I've actually been, I mean, I've, I've said this over the last few days, but I'm actually saying, should Boris throw his hat back in the ring? It's just a thought, isn't it? You know what I mean? So we're not out of the frying pan and into the fire. There's the wonderful Murray O'Donnell. What a gentleman. Having a wee break and noticed you'd popped up. Good morning, my good fellow. Murray, good morning to you. This is just a very, very random pop-up, just for a few minutes to say hi to everybody and see what people are about this morning. Fantastic. Uh, Kareem has mentioned us. I see, that's just a pop-up, just to see what was happening. And I thought, well, do you know what? Why not? You know, I mean, that's that's what I say. Why not? There you have it. And um, I hope the holiday's going well, Kareem. Absolutely. 
and I know that you had uh, quite a, an eventful journey. Um, I've not been singing the past few weeks. I'm recovering from a minor stroke, unfortunately. Robert Scrimger, uh, Nilo Gormley, my goodness me, uh, you need to take great care of your dear self now. Lots and lots of exercise of any affected parts, if you get my meaning, Nilo Gormley. And, uh, you know, uh, you look after yourself. Make sure you get all the proper treatment, all the proper medication. Good people are scarce, but I believe nowadays they can do so much, and I hope that you caught things in time. There we are. A snail has how many teeth, Scotty? Robert Scrimger, you've got me there. Does a snail have any teeth? I suppose they must do, but I couldn't tell you just how many. Would it be four? There's the wonderful. Uh, feeling sad, Scotty. My wee cat had to be put down yesterday. Colin Hogg, I am so sorry to hear this. I know what it's like to uh, not only lose a pet, but to have to make that decision. But you made the right decision because you are a very wise, thoughtful, and caring man. So there you have it straight now, Colin. If nobody said that to you this morning, then Scotty McClue has. Um, I leave tomorrow night at 10 uh, at night, back before 3. Hope the pilot stays awake. Oh, absolutely, Kareem. You know, I saw this the other day and somebody was saying uh, they were apologizing for snoring on the train. And I said, well, as long as you're not the driver, it doesn't really matter. So there we are. So Colin Hogg, I send you strength and I send you love, top man. There we are. Uh, 14,000 teeth, seemingly, Robert. Are you working McClue from the back? Are you are you actually working me from the back? 14,000 teeth. Do not go private at the dentist if you are a snail, I say to you. What a... <laughs> 14,000 teeth. What on earth are they doing with them all? Uh, I'm in a very bad place, Scotty. It's been a while since I've been on. It's Lenzuk. If you remember me, Lenzuk, of course. I remember. Ah, there was a wee couple who lived in Fife. Uh, me and my girlfriend have more or less broken up. Uh, so there we have it. Wait till we see. More or less broken up three days ago. Things have been hard for me. Yes, of course they have. But, you know, she has got a part to play here as well. Kareem is sending me gifts on the TikTok. That's so kind. Karim, you'll be delighted to hear, surprise, surprise, you have become a top number one viewer. Thank you for the checkered flag and the tennis balls and all these other beautiful gifts. Guys, you're very, very kind, I have to say. The Thunder Hammer, the Mini Speaker, the TikToks, the GGs, the Weights, the Roses, <laughs> the daisies and the ice cream cone. <laughs> Karim, you will have emptied your holiday fund. You need money to get back. Thank you, Scotty, says the wonderful Colin Hogg. As for the snail's teeth, I bet the tooth theory hates snails. Having to pay out at that rate, I tell you, 14,000 teeth. Uh, yes, a reprologist with a back one day of a dentist. <laughs> you know, when I go to the dentist, they always pours me that pink liqueur, you know. Now, I don't really drink it, so I just spit it out when he's not looking. That's the way to do it. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I got good news and bad news from the dentist, as you know. He told me my teeth were absolutely lovely. And uh, he said my gums might have to come out. So that's not so good, I tell you. Uh, now, what else have we got here? Thank you very much. Uh, there's Porque. Porque has joined us. Good morning, Porque. It's so lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you. We're only up for a few minutes, guys, just to say hi. In a dark place, I don't know how to pull myself up. No, let's give you a haul up. Now, you're a big fit man, Lenzok, because of your profession. So we're going to drop you a nice thick rope ladder and you're going to clamber up rung by rung until you're feeling comfortable at the top, breathing fresh air. Are you with me? 
join in the analogy. There we are. Hello, Scotty. How's your day going? Scouse Teza. My day is outstanding and it just got better because you've come on here. We like that. Tremendous. I don't like the dentist, Scotty. Well, he speaks very highly of you. I can tell you. So there we go. Uh, I don't think their teeth are like ours. I think they're microscopic teeth. But it's called a radula. What's called a radula? The teeth. So would you would you not go to a dentist? Would you go to a radulist to get your teeth seen if you're a snail? I suppose the good thing about being a snail is that you can take your time. You know, there's no great rush. <laughs> I'm with you, Scotty. I'm with you on that. Good man. So there we go. So we're dropping you down the rope ladder and there's good solid rungs and you're just going to haul yourself up one rung at a time to your right back at the top and you are you. So there you go. And um, now then, it's not any great consolation when you're very down, but uh, there's millions and millions of people in the same boat at the moment because of the mess, the mess the politicians are making of the planet. So what's the topic of discussion? Maybe I'll get involved. It might cheer me up. We'll spit out a fire. We're talking about, I don't know if it would mean much to you because you're in America, and I send wonderful wishes to all our American people right now. But you're in America, and um, the topic of conversation is actually, can we not find somebody better than the two candidates that we've got? And I've said it for a few days, you know, I mean, should Boris throw his hat back in the ring to avoid the frying pan and fire? Hello, uh, 25 ml whiskey for health reasons. Yes, you're not taking it now, I hope. So uh, that's our topic of discussion. What time is it in America? I think we need to be told. There we are. Dinky do, Scotty. George, the football manager, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. This is just a random pop-up for a wee bit of chat. I'm in the UK, Scotty. Ah, you're in the UK. Absolutely, there we go. Are the UK still supplying Ukraine? I think so. I don't really know what's going on there. It's kind of gone a bit quiet, which is a double-edged sword, of course. Thank you, to George. I hope you are well. I'm in Essex. Ah, spit of fire. I understand you're down in Essex, a lovely part of the world. I know people in Basildon, is that right? Hello, Scotty. Good day, my man. Chris. How lovely to have you with us. And thank you, do. Um, oh, last Thursday, last time whiskey. Oh, last Thursday, 25 ml for medicinal purposes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who this medicine tastes terrible. You're not supposed to taste it. You're supposed to rub it on. All well, that sort of stuff. And uh, I hope you're well, George. Good to hear from you. Excellent stuff. We've got a few more seconds. And then I am going to have to dash, dash off. But it's been lovely being with you all. An absolute privilege. TikTokers, there are new videos for you. Get watching. And we'll be popping up with the phone in soon, guys just to say dinky do to every one of you. I'm going to have to push off now. Take great care of your dear selves. And uh, now this gentleman there in Essex, strength, strength, a dinky do. <laughs>